Building self-awareness. Well, for a start, let's simplify it. We're not actually building anything. And the reason we're not building anything is because self-awareness is an innate capability of the human consciousness. And because it's an innate ability of the human consciousness, the question is, why can't we do it continually? And the reason we can't do it continually is because we've had years of conditioning. We've had years of programming and we've got patterns, habits, behaviors and environments that are consistent with those old outdated patterns, habits and behaviors. And self-awareness is basically the reversing of that entire process. So it's easy enough to begin and easy enough to start. But the question is, how do you build up the level of self-awareness that you have? And the way we do that is we actually look at individual parts of ourselves that no longer align or have always been out of alignment. And then because they've always been out of alignment, then the question is, how do we then bring them back into alignment? So we're not building anything. We're deconstructing everything that's gone before it in order to get back to the self-awareness that we would have had originally, that we lost along the way, that we had taken away, or that we gave away willingly without technically knowing so. So if we're going to get into the point of self-awareness entirely, we need to be going back to the whole, who was I meant to be? Or where are my actions, the way I think and feel, not aligned with what I'm trying to create? So there's something to think about. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.